Yeah, welcome to the Forestry Research Institute of uh, CSIR. CSIR is the Council for Scientific and Industrial Research of Ghana. We conduct research into uh, all aspects of forestry in the country, trees, um, plants uh, that are used for insecticides, uh, food plants. We also do livelihood food plants and many others. So over here is our compound and then you can see it's a very serene environment for conducting forestry research. Center. Now I'll bring you to our demonstration snail farm. Uh, this is where we conduct our research and demonst do conduct demonstrations uh, for training and for students and all manner of people. So welcome to our demonstration snail farm. Uh, we have two sections. We have this section that is basically for research. And then in a short while, you will go. To, I'll take you to the. Uh, section for production uh, on commercial basis. So, uh, um, as you can see, this is our uh, storehouse where we store our equipment and materials. I'll just show you an experiment that we are conducting. This is a feeding experiment that we have recently started. We want to look at the effect of different feed types on the growth and development of snails. So as you can see, we focus on Akatina, Akatina or Wapa. So we have another set of uh, experiments going on also, also feeding trials. We are testing them for the effect of, for example, over here, let's see, this is about the, uh, the feeding using palm fiber, as you can see, Mephi. We want to see how much the palm fiber uh, influences growth and productivity of uh, the snails. Uh, come over here to uh, let me show you some of the pens that you have. You can see on my right there you have the galleries and over here we have the hatch boxes. This is a double hatch box. Uh, we have a few of them in there as you can see. This is where we keep the matured ones for them to lay eggs and hatch. Uh, right now we are the season where they are no longer actively laying eggs so you can see those that were laid a couple of months ago that have been transferred into the production center and then you can see the gallery this is one of the very old galleries that we use for our research this facility will hold up to a minimum of about 3,000 snails at a maximum production it can hold more when they are young so uh, let's enter you can see the young men and women, or at least one woman here, national service persons who are helping us to do this work. You can see the uh, galleries that we constructed recently. Uh, this is where we are keeping many of our snails here. Uh, so we keep them here, we feed them, we actually fatten them uh, with leaves and with uh, purple. Now we are more and more using grower mash uh, to supplement their food. And grower mash is commonly, it's a common chicken or poultry feed. And as you can see, we are mixing the leaves, the, the popo, the watermelon, the cabbage together with grower mash so we can get the maximum benefit from it. So this side of the facility will handle up to about 3,000 uh, at table size. At the, when, they, when they are young, they can you can even keep up to about 10,000 snails in this facility. Let's go to the other one. Uh, I'll show you uh, what goes on in the other one. And this other one, we have uh, about uh, two to three month old snails in here. Uh, in the median, the gallery in the median, currently we have about 2,000 uh, young snails in there. And uh, we are building the population. So. Uh, we have all the, what it takes to support this uh, uh, enterprise in Ghana. We invite you all to consider taking the training and consider starting uh, still farming. So ladies and gentlemen, uh, what you just saw was a snapshot of CSR Forex Snail Farm Demonstration Center. And 
and this is where we normally have practical sessions during our snail farming training normally it's in two parts the theoretical aspect and then the practical aspect of it and trainings are being organized regularly not only in Kumasi we move from region to region whenever there is interest so we encourage members of the public to seize this great opportunity and be part of our training program so and for those who are interested you can reach Naomi Apia, Head of Commercialization Division, on this number 020-8536-112 and then 0248-042304.